first sub in u for tan x, and so du is sex squared x dx, and we get our u squared plus one denominator from the sex and tan identity. Now we sub in s for root u, and so ds is du over two root u, and we get this guy here. Then we use partial fraction decomposition to get this mess, which we then simplify like so, and then we can rewrite our leftmost integrand with simpler terms, and this lets us substitute p for our leftmost denominator, so for s squared plus root two s plus one, and then dp is two s plus root two ds, which gives us this guy. Now it's easy money, right? That guy is just gonna be ln of the absolute value of p. So we get this guy. And so for our middle guy here, right, we just completed that square. And then we let w be s plus one over root two and dw is gonna be ds. So we do that here. And then we substitute in v for root two w and dv for root two dw, which makes our middle guy arc 10, right? So we do that. And now we're just gonna do the same sort of thing we just did, but on the other side side, right? So we'll go faster here. We let z sub one be the denominator of that middle guy. So we get one over z sub one. Then our middle guy is ln of z sub one. And for our rightmost guy, we'll substitute z sub two for s minus one over root two. And so we get this guy. And now we simplify by taking out one half. And then we let z sub three be root two z sub two. And so we get this guy, which becomes arctan. And then unwinding finally gives us this enormous dude. And yeah, we're done.